there's something here about the experience of printmaking, about learning about the art of printmaking, and also having that ability to learn how to collect. Lots of people want to buy art, but they don't know how, how to make a collection. And there's talks and tours and all sorts of things here which help you learn both about the art and the art of collecting. I'm here today to talk about the VNA's collection of contemporary prints, what we collect, why we collect it, and um, try to draw out some parallels and connections between what's on show at the fair and what's in the VNA collection. I had a quick look round the fair before I gave my talk, and I was thrilled to see such a huge variety of very impressive print work um, in all different media. I'm pleased to say that my talk was very well received by an audience who seemed to be a mix of artists and collectors and ordinary members of the public. I was invited to create an interior design um, for the Woolwich Contemporary Print Fair Art and Interior Space um, to help people visualise art in their homes and help select the perfect pieces for their projects. From speaking to people here, I think people are afraid of art in their homes, afraid of making it work, afraid of arranging, afraid of trying different colour combinations um, and just afraid in general that it won't look the way that they want it to look when they stick up on the wall. Oh, the atmosphere has been phenomenal. I think there's a real buzz around the place. And they're all coming down to Woolwich to kind of see something which you don't get anywhere else. Time to come to this fair, it's been a great atmosphere, lots of people. And yeah, I think it's very, a very unique experience. Such a bandwidth of representation here. So we're seeing things, everything from protest to extremely kind of particular decorative pieces. It ranges from the affordable to the slightly more kind of, you know, investment pieces. Lots of different types of styles, colours, themes. Often at these shows you are struggling to kind of get around the art, whereas here there's so much space, it's like you have streets between everything, which is wonderful. For the artists and the printmakers it's brilliant because you can stand back and there's a real sense of generosity. It's a great space, you're very lucky with the mezzanine level and the spaces where we're able to do some really big installations. I've just got to think about how we're going to top it next year, hopefully.